you doing? How you doing? How you doing? How you been? Welcome to Vlogmas Day 6. Hi. Oh, mug of the day. I'm exhausted. Um. Yesterday's vlog hasn't even been edited yet. I attempted to do it last night when I uh, went to bed, I took my laptop with me, uh, fell asleep while editing. So I don't know when I'm going to get to that. Uh, maybe at the airport. Sounds like we're going to get there a little early. Um, so I can do that and hopefully upload it before we leave. Anyway, um, it's seven o'clock, well, four minutes to seven. Um, I did have a list of things for me to do this morning. One of which, uh, yeah, you guessed it, finished packing. Uh, but I had a list of everything. I've already crossed it all off. It was like, bills that were going to come due while I was gone, schedule those and stuff like that. Um, I do need to go to the post office to pick up some boxes to get rid of these gifts. Um, send those off. I need to pull a couple pairs of jeans out of the dryer and a sweatshirt. Stick that in the bag. And then I'm done. And then I just need to take a shower, get ready, and head out. Um, so tired. Have I said that already? Anyway, I hope you're all doing really well. Oh, so uh -huh. you might not get yesterday's vlog. And oh, not you might not get because this is when I would be posting. You ain't getting it on time today, but it will go up at some point. <clears throat> so, good morning, uh, welcome to day six. And yeah, unfortunately, I will be leaving my house a disaster because, well, I mean, just like the dining room and my room and okay the house so yeah let me go find Sophie because I kind of want to give her a bath before I leave so she can be nice and clean for grandma grandpa yeah so see I'm still waiting to close those up so let me go do that and I'll see you in the beat. All right, so now that I made it out of my driveway, um, I have Miss Sophie in the car, and we are headed to the post office. Uh, one, I need to check my P.O. box. Two, I need to get a couple of boxes for, for those things that I wrapped last night. And then, um, on my way out of town, I can stop at the post office and drop them off. In addition to property taxes, um, you gotta make sure that goes out today because that's due the 10th. So, I'm allowing five days for it to get there. Should be more than enough. y'all and then I don't think I'm gonna have time to drop Sophie off at my parents so my dad said he would come by later and pick her up so I'll do that that gives me enough time to give her a bath yeah and that's it so still haven't done any of the editing I am completely packed so that's done I feel like since I was under the gun, like I could, like I had to do it. So 
went ahead and did it. Um, talked to my sister, who, um, if I take a coat of hers, um, it's one less suitcase she takes. So, um, I've made room to take her coat. Apparently it's some parka or something. Anyway. Oh, it's so busy and schools are in session. I don't know, this is really confusing here. How more kids don't get hit at that intersection? Or I don't know if any do, but that's a really dangerous intersection for a school. Anyway guys, I'm gonna get this done. I'll see you in a bit. All right, so I thought the post office opened much earlier than nine o'clock, but apparently not. So, but it's a good thing I'm friendly with them because all I did was scream out the person's name and they came out. So um, I got my boxes, so got a couple of boxes. <clears throat> Send those out and then in my PO box, I have a couple of cards, so very nice, very nice. So I'll have to open those at some point. Um, and then, and then, of course, I got a bill. I got a bill to redo or to renew the PO box. Whew. So, yeah, got that. I can't see anything. Okay. Alright, so now I have uh, one more errand to run. I need to pick up some dog food for Sophie. Hopefully I have time to prepare it. Um, it is eight, so I do still have some time. And I just realized, because I saw the signs, so Main Street looks like, well, they have all the lights up. You can see them as I drive by. So apparently this Friday is the night light parade, night parade, or Christmas light night. I don't know. Um, I went last year I believe I even vlogged it for vlogmas I think that was day one actually um, of it so I'll be missing that but I'll be in a much better Christmas environment in the New York of the city so yes excited for that very very excited for that and we are going to a Christmas market. I don't know if it's tomorrow. I don't know. Um, so my sister and I were talking about that trip this morning. This trip this morning. We don't know what we did. Uh, and then we figured out. It was after midnight when we finally were able to get together on the phone we're both exhausted looking at many different options and, and things and we just booked it I think we just booked it just to book it so we can have something but we find ourselves in the situation we're in which I mean it isn't a bad situation just nothing is what we thought it was so if that makes sense all right folks I'm I'm gonna go run the rest of my errands, go home, pack these boxes, seal them up, get ready, and fly out the door, not fly, but out the door, go meet my sister, pick her up, and then embark for the airport. Yeah. I get really excited when it's like vacation. Um, like when I go for work, there's there's no excitement involved because I know I know that I'll be home that night. So 
This is different. I'm so excited. I need this vacation. I really need it. And unfortunately, it's during the whole holiday season. So I lose a lot of days on setting up the house and, and all of that. So that's going to be kind of a bummer. And then when I get back the day after, oh, good news, everybody. The day after I get back, I sign documents for the sale of the house. So that's all really quick. Um, and yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited because that's one thing, one less thing that I have to worry about or contend with. And I can just move on from that. So, you know, find the next thing that's gonna completely stress me out. Anyway, I'm just running that. All right, so while I'm brewing another cup of coffee so I can have with a bagel, it is three minutes to nine. So I have to jump in the shower. Actually, first I need to give Sophie a bath, jump in the shower, get ready, head out. I'm not gonna have time to drop her off at my parents' house. So they'll come and get her. Sorry, that's a coffee machine making so much noise. Um, oh, yes, please, yes. I love coffee. Uh -huh. Have I shown you the mug of the day yet? I'm not sure if I have. Mm, yes, please. Anyway, um, I don't wanna leave, so the two cards that I got, I didn't wanna leave them until I got back. Um, so, just want to go ahead and open it. So the first one is from uh, Nicole Angel. I'll show that her address is not on there. So I will see what that is. Actually, look at the. That's weird. I've been watching a lot of documentaries about Elvis lately. I don't know why, but there we go. Oh, I feel bad. It's late. I was late getting it. So it's a Thanksgiving card. How cute is that? I'm gonna have to cut out that turkey. And, oh, because I love peanuts. Stickles, lots of stickles. I like this. I love Snoopy. Um, I hope your Thanksgiving is filled with many reasons to be thankful and that it was. I thank you for that. Love, Nicole and Noel. So, thank you for the Thanksgiving card. I uh, appreciate it. And then the next one, I will not turn it around because there are addresses. Uh, this is from Kiki, um, AKA Kathleen Markovich Robinson. And, oh, how cute. Glitter everywhere, but how cute. And it says, Christmas wishes. How cute is that? So cute. I don't know if you can see. There we go. Do you see the reflection? Right there. Paulo, Mr. P and Sophie wishing you the jolliest Christmas season and the happiest New Year. Merry Christmas and a happy New Year's. Love and friendship. Kiki. Well, thank you. So, uh, hold on a second. All right, just because I didn't want to move the camera. Here's the sleigh with the card the YouTube group already sent me. And now we'll add this one. Let's do this raw teal. There we go. There we go. Kiki, you are on my cardboard. Cardboard. <laughs> uh, card sleigh. Yay. All right, you guys, I am going to finish this coffee. Um, try to convince that one over there. She needs a bath. And um, get dressed and head out. See you in a bit. Hi. Right. So I've just parked the car. Um, I use this app, and I am not sponsored by them. But it's, um, or it's a website, really. It's called way.com. I use them for um, 
finding parking spots for like venues and shows. They also do like show tickets and theater tickets and dinner reservations and stuff like that. I love using them. So to park at the airport, it was like, I think the cheapest I found was $19 a day. But if you park off site, like at one of the local hotels, for example, this one was $8 a day. And then there's one that I normally use, which is $5 a day. So now I'm just waiting for the shuttle to come by. Um, I dropped my sister off at the airport with the bags. Uh, we did curbside check-in. So that was quick. So she's there. She hates flying. She's getting really nervous. So <clears throat> I didn't want this process to be more nerve-wracking for her. Like getting her bags, hopping on the shuttle bus then getting off then walking to the terminal so i just figured it'd be easy to just drop her off there so she's waiting we're gonna go have a quick bite to eat and then and then we'd be on the way so i hope you're all having a good day morning was hectic um, I did not end up taking Sophie to my parents' house, so they are going to go by later uh, to pick her up. Uh, she did get a bath this morning, so yay for that. So she can be all clean for Grandma and Grandpa. And I got the packages I wanted to mail out. out. Also sent out the property tax one. I actually taped that envelope to my steering wheel so I wouldn't forget. I have to do some weird things sometimes so I can remember. Anyway, I'm going to sit here, play a game on my phone, wait for the shuttle bus, and uh, start the trip. This thing feels more like a party bus than it does an airport shuttle. Look how nice this thing is. I mean, even the lights. But look at the front you can see straight out the front Ooh, that's supposed to be the roof so fancy and it looks like i'm by myself now that's first class service So it is, what time is it? One o'clock? Sure. It is 1 a.m. Oh, we just thing. got to the hotel. Panera. That's what I need, a warm soup. We're good. We got some pizza here. We're on a mission. We are trying to find some <coughs> stuff for Sicky over here. And we're also looking for waters so we can put back in the room. And an Arizona for the man. And an Arizona iced tea for the security guard. Right, security? Uh -huh. Yeah. Awesome. Bird. Everyone that we have come in contact with has been nice, yeah. helpful. So he said just keep going until okay. we find it. So okay. it's so cold. Um, she did it right. So she's got a parka with fur on it. And I've got my little Patagonia. That's all. So, what? Express. 
Ooh, they have an express here? They probably have that shirt and zoomies. Yes. Yeah. Oh, oh Panda. Panda Express, not Express. <laughs> Let's go buy some shirts of Panda. All right. I gotta put my hands in my pockets because it's cold. We all know I like cold, but not at 1 a.m. Okay, yeah, but our it's time freezing. Is what? Like, like, our time is probably like, oh. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, it is. So we finally found a store <clears throat> that's open 24. And we got some waters. Yeah, ginger ale. Ginger ale. Oh, they night quail. Here at night. Uh, I think they do 24 7s. They're like San Francisco. Um, it's really cold. We're really tired. And I actually pulled a camera out to show you the Christmas trees on the corner. But we already walked by it. So I'll show you these Christmas trees. Ooh, ah. Yeah, that's it. Alright guys, we're going to head back. I'm going to call it a night. Technically, it's the next day. But, I still got to edit this before I go to bed. So, Hope you're all having a great day. Thanks for tuning in. I am your disgruntled elf. <laughs> uh, don't forget to go out and make a heart smile. We could all use one. 